And a very warm welcome to you all in our service this morning. Whether you are following live in Sandyford itself, or on Zoom from different parts of the world, or whether you log in later on YouTube, we're delighted to have you with us. And a particular welcome to Ben Thorpe, who will be conducting the service as sole nominee for the vacant position of Minister of the Congregation. And we are very glad to have with us as well on Zoom, Ben's family, his wife, Heather, his daughter, Mira, and his son, Jamie. And I'm pleased to see other members of the family and friends of Ben and Heather with us too. A big welcome to you as well. Now, this is a first for Sandiford as we try to transmit a service live, both in the building and on Zoom. Now, whatever the technical challenges and the limitations as a result of the COVID pandemic, we pray, as before every service, that God will be glorified. And I know this is very much Ben's prayer too. So now may I hand over to Ben to lead us in worship. Um, a very, very warm welcome, obviously, to everyone here at Sandiford, whether or not, of course, you're here in person or if you're watching online. Um, and uh, as you've discovered, if this happens to be your first time with Sandiford, then you are in safe hands because it's my first time too. Um, and we'll just kind of, we'll, we'll take a run at it and see what happens. Um, as has been mentioned, my name is Ben Thorpe and I've got uh, just the honour of leading our gathering here this morning as we come to worship Jesus, who is risen from the dead and calling us to him. We worship in many ways by singing our songs, unless, of course, you are in the building, in which case you'll have to restrain yourself as, as best you can. But also we worship by offering our prayers to him, by listening to the reading of the Bible and by hearing the preaching of his word. Psalm 118 from verse 20 says this, This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice as we join together in our opening hymn, calling all God's people to rejoice. Come people of the risen King. <laughs> 